signs. We see them everywhere. From shops to airports to metro stations, they help with showing directions, instructions and any message we want to show. The usage of signs dates back many centuries, with the concept of visual signage believed by historians to have started with the ancient Egyptians, Romans and Greeks. The process of making a sign begins with a log, which is first debugged before being turned into wood. An overhead crane lowers a log into the sawing machine where it is attached to a rotary axis that spins it around at high speed. The saws at the side of the machine then trim off the bark of the log, creating stripped wood. Once the bark has been trimmed off, saws at the bottom of the machine cut the stripped wood into smaller blocks for the next stage of processing. The blocks travel down a conveyor belt into another saw, which cuts them down into planks. The planks are then collected and sent to another part of the factory where they will be turned into sticks and sign plates respectively. In the stick section, a worker places the planks into a four-sided saw, which cuts the planks into sticks. In the sign plate section, a worker places the planks onto a different saw, which cuts them into sign plates. The sign plates are then placed onto a press, where a worker inserts a metal type containing the message intended to be put on the sign. When the press is activated, the words are inked onto the sign. The sign plates can be used as is, or attached to a stand to make a standing sign. For standing signs, a worker uses sticks and attaches them to the sign plates. Finally, the signs are put onto a conveyor belt and packed into boxes by mechanical arms. After the boxes are filled, a worker loads them onto a truck. These signs will then be sent out to different places to leave the mark on the world.